So in this video we're going to show you how to install an AMD Ryzen processor. The processor we're installing on my test bed today is a Ryzen 3 3200G. This is a good processor, it's an APU so it's got graphics built in, good enough to game as well so I actually like these processors, they're really good. So when you get your motherboard they will come with two brackets around the CPU socket. What you need to do, the fan we're going to actually going to install is an AMD one and it comes with these screws which are used to attach to the motherboard which don't use these brackets. Some fans actually do use these brackets but we're not going to be using these so the first thing to do is remove them. Simply unscrew them. Now these brackets actually screw into a plate that's held on the rear of the motherboard now my test bed doesn't have a hole in the bottom of it so the plate won't fall through but some cases do have a hole so what you'll need to do is actually hold the plate from the other side or install your processor before you put the motherboard in and that way you can actually hold everything reasonably well anyway. We take our processor now these processors are marked in the corner, has a little uh, triangle in the corner and that will line up to a mark on the motherboard which is actually in this corner here. So we lift the little alarm and we drop the processor in and we push the arm back down again and that will actually grip on to the processor. Now to install our fan, this is simply going to screw down onto the backing plate into the same holes as the uh, original clamps were but first what we need is some heat sink compound now what heat sink compound does is it allows it to bond to the heat sink of the fan and it fills in any gaps so that heat can actually transfer between them quite well there's many different ways of doing a uh, heat sink compound some people actually spread it all the way across the processor other people just put a bit in the middle what you want is about pea size, just in the middle, just enough. <coughs> Not too much because what you don't want it to do is you don't want it to spread out outside of the processor itself. Put the heat sink on, line it up and then start screwing down the pegs. Now you don't want to do one at a time, what you want to do is alternate the corners until it's gripped down just enough. And as you're starting to tighten down the screws, you want to alternate the corners. And these screws are actually spring loaded, so they'll hit a stop when it's actually tight enough. That's all nice and tight. Then we want to take our cable round and plug it into the CPU fan header. And that's installed. 